on a chilly night in Austin, Texas. It's time for SPC Boys Soccer Action, the varsity match between the St. Stephen's Spartans and the visiting Houston Christian Mustangs. Cameron Songer here with you on Vipe Live. Rosie Baker, my QA, back at Mission Control, and we hope you're warmer wherever you're watching this than we are up here in the press box. 39 degrees and dropping here in Austin this evening. Trying to just stay warm is uh, it's going to be a battle. These uh, teams are going to be battling each other, of course, trying to pick up a much-needed uh, district win for both teams. Uh, league win, I should say. Mustangs from Houston Christian in blue. Your Spartans of St. Stephen's in the white and red. And we are just about ready to go. If you missed us for the girls' match, it was a good one. Pretty evenly fought, and St. Stephen's pulled away late for a 4-2 win. Meanwhile, in this one, the story yet to be written. We do know that the uh, clock and the scoreboard in the stadium are not working. I'll keep time up here in the booth. And, of course, you have that scoreboard for you uh, on the video stream. As we are set to go, the Mustangs will start with possession, going from right to left across the field. Waiting for the ref signal. And here we go. Just wait a second. Maybe not quite yet. How about now? There we go. One thing to watch is just uh, you know, how much these teams try to keep in the tank knowing that there's another game tomorrow for St. Stephen's is right back here at home. You can catch it on Vipe Live as well. But that's not in the front of their minds right now, of course. They're thinking about uh, what you need to do to win this game here today. And then worry about resting your body, recovering half those, you know, 12 or so hours at the very least. Definitely less than 24. You just worry about that later. Oh, chance early. Oh, pulled it wide. Noah Jones had a gaping goal in front of him and couldn't put it away. Miles Rom for St. Stephen's. Probably has some choice words for his backline defenders there. Yes, that would have been just about 60 seconds into the game and an opportunity for Houston Christian to draw first blood. They couldn't do it. St. Stevens will try to make something happen as a quick counter. Whistle and a foul against Houston Christian. Mustangs with a takeaway. Pushed out towards the far side. Fight for the ball. Looks like it rolled out. Let's see who touched it last. It goes to St. Stephen's. Nice takeaway by the Spartans defensively. And they couldn't hook up on a pass. Here comes Ortiz trying to get it back. Nice touch on this weighted pass. Lobbed in towards the box. Far side. Oh! Opportunity just missed that swing. And Houston Christians had a couple chances here right in front of goal. At that time it was English. Does set up a corner kick. Houston Christian, another early chance to get on the board first. It will be Ryan Arnold, by the looks of things, to get it started off this corner. Arnold. 
Arnold approaching with the right foot towards the front post, headed away. And that was uh, an attempt on goal there from uh, Jones of Houston Christian. So it goes out for a goal kick. Almost four minutes gone in half number one. Scoreless here in the boys varsity game between Houston Christian and St. Stephen's. This one juggled off a handful of headers, just playing you know, hacky sack with it. A nice idea on the through ball. Trying to keep this in. Opportunity here for the Mustangs. Shot. Scooped up. No problem there for Rom in goal. Oh, another chance. Fight for the ball. Nice job to get a piece of that by the keeper. Miles Rom again cleaning up after some uh, struggles in front of him. Another throw in for Houston Christian. They're keeping the pressure on. Ortiz throws it in, gets it back. Arnold. Good clearance by St. Stephen's. Chance to counter. Good move. Long pass, well defended. Second chance. Given away in midfield by St. Stephens. Ooh, got in the way of that. Neither team can really keep possession here in midfield. St. Stephen's trying to change that. Good sliding attempt by Ortiz. The ball won by Houston Christian. Well read defensively. Nothing comes of it for St. Stephen's. Let's see if Houston Christian tries to go a little slower with their buildup. They gave it away. Spartans with it. Jones up the sideline. Lost, lost it for a second. Whistle. I think they called the foul there against St. Stephen's. Yes, this is a free kick. And Noah Jones waiting for his teammates to join him in the offensive area. Referee telling the St. Stephen's managed to back off a little bit, and here comes the free kick. Way too much on that. Maybe the wind got a hold of it because that sails out for a goal kick.
Spartans just can't seem to make any progress with the ball. So we've played almost nine minutes here. Job to keep it in play. Houston Christian on the front foot with a nice touch. Impressive run here from Ortiz. Can't keep it going as it breaks down. I believe Ortiz touched that last, so it is a St. Stephen's throw. Maddox Restivo gets us started again. Job in possession there. Looks like they're looking for English. Job to knock that down. Chance to run at them. Again, the Mustangs frustrated at some decent attacking chances not quite materializing. A lot of contact there, and that's going to be a foul. Maddox Restivo there on an aggressive challenge. Car doesn't come out. Or will it? Yeah, Restivo will see a yellow card for that. So he'll have to be careful here. Booked in just the 11th minute of this game. And now Ryan Arnold with a free kick. Chance for Houston Christian to get the first point on the board here this evening. Free kick right into the wall. Arnold gets it back, now crosses, headed towards goal, and there's Miles Rom cleaning it up. Almost 12 minutes gone. Scoreless to get us started. Houston Christian so far on the front foot. Can they turn that advantage in play into an advantage on the scoreboard? St. Stephens has not really put a shot on goal or really created much of an attacking threat quite yet. Similar to what we saw in the girls game where uh, St. Stephens did score first but it was sort of against the run of play especially in the first 10 minutes. The, the thing to take away from that, if you're a Spartan fan, of course, is that the girls won that 4-2. It might just be in the air this evening. Nifty touch. I think he went over his shoulder to grab that. Again, the uh, Spartans' defense able to keep the ball out of the net with some clever defense in the box. went out, so it's a Houston Christian throw. Booted away. Volleyed about in midfield. Egraveba emerges with it. Another man goes to ground, this time no whistle. Spartans, if they can get to it, might be able to make something. Just haven't been able to really stick on the ball at all. Long ball and a good run. He's onside. The shot into the back of the net. 
and Houston Christian scores first. Goal for the Mustangs. That's number 11, Tyler Yillander. And Houston Christian in the 14th minute has a 1-0 lead. Ball gets rolling once again. Mustangs coming out aggressively after scoring the first goal. Trying to set a tone early in this one. As they've won back possession. Spartans looking for a similar kind of run. Off a quick buildup, they don't get it. And now on the near side, on the wing, Carlos Ortiz couldn't keep it in. Throw in for St. Stephen's in front of the Houston Christian bench. So we've played 15 and a half minutes in the first half, so getting close to the midway point of the first frame. Still waiting for St. Stephen's to really get a, a clean look at goal. Haven't created much offensively yet. Only takes one, and they could find themselves level here pretty quickly. Mustangs keeping possession. That one might have got tipped. It's still dangerous. Mustangs again threatening, again missing the goal, but they've already created one. A couple more chances. So you've been watching this. If you're a St. Stephen's fan, this could be 2 or 3 nil already. Looking for some answers. The Spartans will make a change. Bringing on some fresh legs at the forward spot. Andy Lee enters the playing field. Mustangs on the quick throw in. Waiting to build up. Right wing it goes. Bodies tumbling to the ground. Whistle. I don't think there was a foul call. I think that's just a... Uh, I mean, it is a foul and a free kick given. Thought it might have just gone out. Ref letting him play that way. But it's a free kick for St. Stephen's. Allows them to advance the ball. But they couldn't keep it. Oh, good job. Good balance from Ortiz. Into the box, cleared away. Houston Christian, as they resettle, couldn't keep possession. The left flank, that's gone out of play. Should be a Spartan throw in here. With 18 minutes and change in the books already. Busy start to this one. We've seen a booking and a goal. has been going against St. Stephen's so far. They look to create something in towards the box. Not a great clearance there. It goes out 
over the goal for a corner kick and a chance for the Spartans to create something here off a set piece. Carlos Schaubert. Left foot swing to get us started off this corner kick. Carlos's delivery is a good one. Headed towards goal, just wide. All right, that's in. My goodness, that's in the back of the net. Just like that, off the set piece, St. Stephen's is equalized at one. I thought that was wide of net. Fantastic finish with the header. And there's that quick equalizer for St. Stephen's in the 20th minute. They had not created many chances, but they took advantage big time off a set piece. Wow. How the goalie got beat near post there, I'm not sure. Let's see if the Spartans can make something now. Coming out with the extra pep in their step after scoring the goal. Good pressure, stepping through it. Real forwards challenge. And the pass up the sideline, catching the ref. St. Stephen's to throw in. Mustangs win it back, try to settle themselves. Going back to their keeper. Spartans trying to make this difficult for them. Good interception. Mustangs with some pace. Shot. Deflected. And that finds the back of the net. Wow. Tough bounce for St. Stephen's. I'm not sure if that was tapped in at the end or if that just bounced off the keeper and stayed in. As it stands, a 22nd minute goal and Houston Christian right back in the lead. So barely two minutes. Oh, and a miscommunication off the restart. St. Stephen's wakes up and takes care of business, getting it out. And it's in the back of the net again! <laughs> Just like that, we're tied! The goal's coming fast and furious here in Austin. You could time these goals with a stopwatch. They just haven't stopped. Three goals in the span of about three minutes. Takes it from 1-0 Mustangs to 2-2 again. Oh, here we go again. Keeper picks this one up. Miles Rom coming off his line to grab that ball. This one looking in ways eerily similar to the, the girls' match earlier this evening. That one had a, a stretch with a bunch of scoring in the first half. Looking for that cross, not there. And the first half ended 2-2, so that's one way it's, it's kind of been similar. That was one that started with uh, Houston Christian really in control early without creating uh, any goals off of several good chances in the first few minutes. Bottom line, though, is uh, like in that game, it's 2-2. Two -two. Indy Lee will let Wyatt Wilkerson throw this in for St. Stephens. Wilkerson gives it right back to Lee, trying to find Wilkerson again. Couldn't get a foot to it. Goes out. 
And now Houston Christian will throw in. Burst of speed for St. Stephens. This is Showbear. Lost it in that far corner. Now the Mustangs trying to keep it up the sideline. They can't do it. It goes out of play. Ooh, aggressive defense come off the back line. Gives the Spartans possession. Can they make something of it? Oh, miscue on the pass, taken away. Looking for a little give and go. There's the cutback, nice defense. And then the clearance. Hands on knees all over the place. This has been a real entertaining first half. They're getting after it out there. We're in the 26th minute, so we're if the pace keeps up like this, uh, tell you what, these young men will not have a hard time falling asleep tonight. They're going to be exhausted. This has been a frantic first half, especially uh, in the last eight or so minutes. Nice job using your head to clear the back line. Seems like every time there's been a chance to, okay, you know, a stoppage, we can we can catch our breath off a throw in or a free kick or just any change of possession. That hasn't been the case, man. They just pick the ball up and go. You appreciate it as a fan. No uh no wasted time. But for some of these players, man. It uh, it really tests the stamina, and it tests not just the you know the physical stamina and the physical conditioning, but uh, the ability to stay locked in for you know that long without really any even a little break. Your side wasn't doing Houston Christian any favor, so he'll try the far side and play a little bit of possession with the ball right now. Whistle as Carlos Ortiz was tripped up. Foul against St. Stephen's and a free kick to the Mustangs. 2-2 Two -two our score into the 28th minute of the first half. It's two 40-minute halves with some allowance for some uh, stoppage time. Ryan Arnold will take this free kick. In a dangerous spot. Spartans got the job done. Got it out of danger. Ben Hale doing his defensive duties that time. A good throw, headed around in the clearance by the Spartans. Stoppage in play, and St. Stephen's will make a substitution. Wyatt Wilkerson goes to the bench. On comes Elias Rocha in the white and red. Spartan throw in into free space towards the corner flag. Kept in. 
Nice defensive block for Houston Christian. And into the hands of the waiting keeper. Lance Stephanakis, I believe. Check that. Aiden Cannon, the goalkeeper for Houston Christian. Long shot over everything. You're not going to make one of those unless you try it. And with the way action's been going for Houston Christian, kind of getting bogged down a little bit, having trouble creating. You give one of those a rip and see if you can spark your team if, if it hits. Obviously, it's fantastic, but I think even just the, the attempt kind of just, you know, uh, acts as a little bit of a wake-up call to your teammates. Like, let's go. Clearing their lines. The Mustangs put it out of play for a St. Stephen's throw in. Back underway with under 10 minutes to play in the first half. In the box, going to ground, doesn't get the call. Chance for the Mustangs to break. Physical battle for the ball, St. Stephen's hangs on to it. Let's one fly, and the keeper's there for it, covering it up. Back to the keeper. Mustangs trying to clear their lines here. Stevens with some nice pressure, but there's a good pass to relieve some of that pressure. Two blue jerseys in the vicinity. Can't come away with it. And there's a wild attempt from long, long range. Have another substitution for St. Stevens. Making his way off is Liam Cochran. New player is number 16, Tate Potts. Goal kick for St. Stephen's. Tied at two as we wind our way towards the home stretch of this first half. Out for a Mustang throw in, which they want to take quickly, and they do. Spartans take it away. Another physical fight for the ball. Refs more or less letting that go. Goes back to the feet of Ortiz. Showing off the pace with a good touch to get around one defender. Centering pass. Well read defensively by St. Stevens. Tip of the cap to Schuber there. Ryan.
Ryan Arnold. Let's fly. Knocked down and handled by Rom. Save keeps us deadlocked at two. St. Stevens almost had just a tremendous individual effort from Andy Lee. Mustangs looking for the long pass to counter. Doesn't work for him. Giving away in midfield. Mustangs have a lot of room on this near side if they can reverse field with it. Another long shot. That's kept out. Another nice stop by Rom. That one looked like it was destined for the upper corner. Thirty-five minutes in the books here. Tied at two. Another aggressive attacking setup for Houston Christian with just the three defenders back. Don't give it to one of those three defenders now. And by the way they cover that, they'll say we don't need more than three defenders. Those three have the have the task handled and we can focus on pressing up with the other seven field players. Staying throw. <laughs> Terrific work keeping the possession alive. Spoke too soon. Sliding attempt. I think he might have touched that with his hand. That is the call. Free kick to Houston Christian. About three and a half minutes until halftime. Looks like we might be settling for 2-2 at the break, just like in the girls' game. Although would say, based on where we've uh, kept the camera in this first half, it's been much more on this left side as Houston Christian has dominated the attacking opportunities. And credit to St. Stephen's. When they've had chances, they've capitalized. There's a whistle. And the foul going against the Spartans. kick. Probably not where he wanted to go with it. Driven towards goal. No one on the other end of it. Rom falls on it. Two minutes plus whatever we have in terms of stoppage time. That's all that's left here until halftime. At this point for St. Stephen's, it feels like you're just trying to get to that break. Long shot, sails wide. Mustangs maybe falling in love with those long range attempts a little bit too much, he might say. Seems like all of their last few attempts have all come from well outside the box. Spartans restart the action. Ooh, 
Might have bounced off his face. He stayed with it very nicely. Stopped in midfield. Whistle for an injured St. Stephen's player. Last thing you want to see, especially this close to halftime. It looks like he's back up on his feet. So nothing too serious there. And we started with the drop ball. St. Stevens taking it quickly. And they remembered, yeah, you know, we don't do that off a drop ball. So the Mustangs with an attacking chance as we approach halftime. Shot. Stopped again by Rom. We'll chill out on top of the ball for a second. And that will take us to halftime. 40 minutes down, 40 minutes still to go. And this one could still go either way. 2-2 is our score at the break. You're watching St. Stephen's Boys Soccer on Vipe Live.
Cameron Songer back here with you on Vipe Live as we get ready to go for the second half as we're tied up at two. Before we get started, uh, the start of the new year also means back to sport at Academy Sports and Outdoors. From graphic tees to football cleats, they have everything you need to make this your best year yet. Swing by your local Academy store today or shop online at academy.com and you can find all the hottest styles from top brands like Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, and Vans, all at a price you'll love. So if you want game-changing gear, start here at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Thank you, Academy Sports and Outdoors, for your support of St. Stephen's Boys Soccer on Vipe Live this season. Busy weekend for both teams, for St. Stephen's and Houston Christian. For St. Stephen's, another game tomorrow that will also be available right here on Vipe Live. Taking on Kincaid, 1 o'clock for the uh, boys game. If you're looking for that, it will be right here on Vipe Live. And the Houston Christian team, I know we have their games on Vipe Live for their home games. So if you're following them, uh, they are also in the Austin area again tomorrow. Taking on St. Andrews just up the road from here. So making the trip and getting a double dip as well. So two away games this weekend on Friday and Saturday for Houston Christian. Obviously, uh, the girls game earlier this evening, a 4-2 win for St. Stephen's. Houston Christian will try to bounce back against St. Andrews tomorrow. And then on the boys' side, still have to determine this one. And uh, both teams will be in action again tomorrow. And you can, again, catch the St. Stephen's game Right back here on Vipe Live. Keeping an eye on just how well uh, the teams kind of keep things under control in the second. I think control is the big word, kind of the, the, the buzzword here in the second half. The, the scoring kind of came really in all four goals in the span of about 10 minutes. Houston Christian in the 14th minute, St. Stephens got one back about six minutes later, and then Things kind of just kind of went haywire for about three or four minutes where each team scored one in a very quick uh, you know, burst. So really, if there's going to be another one of those, I think even if your team ends up on the, the right side of it, so to speak, I think both coaches would rather avoid that just because it, it's just it's scary. It, it gives a coach gray hairs and keeps him up at night. Houston Christian with some immediate pressure to win after uh, – St. Stephen's began the second half with possession. Ball bouncing loose. Who's going to get to it? Trying to keep it in. Good hustle by Ryan Arnold for Houston Christian, but he lost it. It's taken away. Up the field. Arroyo for the Spartans. Nice fight to keep that in again. Tiptoeing the sideline. This is Lee, lost possession. A little back heel touch, no one was home for it. I think Houston Christian maybe just getting a little too cute for their own good at times here as this one rolls through the keeper. First minute off the clock in the second half. Whistle for a St. Stephen's player who's slow to get up. Carlos Schober helped off the field. And you like to see that Noah Jones. Even though he's not wearing the same color jersey, just helping a guy who needs it. see who the uh, Spartans bring on here to spell Schober, who you hope is just a just a cramp. It looks like 23 Wyatt Wilkerson into the game in white. And it is. So we pick up where we left off, which was the keeper holding the ball for Houston Christian.
Spartans looking good on this run upfield. Lee on the cross. Can someone get to it? Still danger here after the half clearance. And Neilander couldn't clear it away, so it's a good throw in spot for St. Stephen's. Given away. Nice move, Yillander. Probably wants it back. They'll try the far side instead off a good through ball. Crossed in towards the center. And booted away from goal. Throw in given. Chance to break. Can Lee win this ball? He does. Andy Lee crossing. Nobody in white in the box there. But Houston Christian hasn't gotten this ball out of danger. Now they can. Goal kick upcoming. Elias Rocha let fly from deep, long, long range. Going short off this goal kick, try to build up from the back. Pressure wins it back for St. Stephen's. Houston Christian fans who made the trip for the weekend action, trying to encourage their players on. It's it's chilly. It's down to 37 degrees. Fortunately, the wind has died down. That was that was kind of the problem in, up here in the booth, at least for me. Have the window open to run the camera, so you don't have the glare. So I mean, during the start of the of the girls' game, man, it was so windy. Just it felt a lot colder than it really was. Fortunately now, even as the temperature has dropped, the wind is, has settled down. And Stevens gets us restarted with a throw. Just trying to keep it on that half. They can for a moment. Pass gives it away. A couple quick passes and Houston Christian might be in business here. The importance of just stringing a couple passes together. Physical battle for the ball, but the Mustangs keep possession of it. Except for the captain, Noah Jones, there for hanging with that one. Jones has it now. In towards the box, headed away. That will stay on the sideline. Not a corner kick, but a throw in to come for Houston Christian. As... They'll move some players around. Looks like Carlos Ortiz favoring his leg a little bit. He'll head to the bench. They also move Bennett Cooper around. St. Stephen's trying to get a clearance. And Arnold might have just set up St. Stephen's nicely. Couldn't keep it in. Throw in for the Mustangs. Bennett Cooper thought about throwing it in himself. and said he was the target on that throw in from Daniel Bay. Now the Mustangs right at midfield with it. Lost possession. 
chance for St. Stephen's. Comes up empty. Leaving defenders in his wake, a good run. Ball given up. Here's Francis. Now with Garrow. John Egarevba. Oh, nice tackle. Carson Thu stymieing the attack for at least a moment. Running through defenders. Chance. Oh, couldn't stick a fork in the pass. Yelander was maybe thinking about his second goal. And it's a goal kick. Forty-eight minutes and counting into this game. Still early in the second half, and we're still tied at two. Without the scoreboard functioning in the stadium, you know everybody has the, the I'm not the only one, they have, have the stopwatch open on their phone, keeping time. Uh, St. Stephen's makes a change. Looks like Caden Schmidt comes on for the Spartans. Check that, that's number nine, Ben Hale. down, kept in nicely by Hale and Lee. Andy Lee, nice step over. Oh, zigzagging his defender, and then the pass not on target. Tackled away, Hale nicely done. Gets possession back for St. Stephens. Mustangs dribbled themselves into some trouble there. Centering pass. Back to the midfield for Spartans to make something happen with it. But the pass off the mark. Houston Christian gets a throw in. And that did go out. Saw Yolander and Francis just trying to play a little give and go with it. Couldn't keep it in. Ben Hale throws in for the Spartans. Finds Lee. Now it's with English. Sends it back. No white shirts on that right side. Running at the left flank now. Shrugging off one defender. Low cross. Blocked. Ooh. Started his run too early. Lee did. That slowed things up. And the keeper was right there for it. He would have been offsides if that initial move uh, had been passed off. Now it's Houston Christian having trouble getting the ball out of that defensive side. Looking for the cross. Couldn't get the right spin on it. Goes out for a goal kick. A little more than 51 minutes played. All the goals coming in the span of 10 minutes, about midway through the first half. Hard to say which team really looks like winning this match right now. Houston Christian with a nice bit of momentum moving forward. Headed towards the corner. Crossed in. I'm going to say that was out. Johnny Friends, I think, waited just a beat too long to send in his cross. And that ball just did go over for a Spartan throw.
thrown into open space, trying to get a man to run into it. Shielded the ball nicely. Houston Christian recovers. And offsides is the call. Neilander was in behind that back defender. I, think he, I don't even think he would argue that he was on there. Substitution for the Mustangs. Try to ID the new player when we get the chance. Neilander wins possession. Nice pass. Come through. Important bit of defending there for the Spartans. Keeps it tied. Without the goalkeeper having to face a shot, importantly. Through ball, no one home. Good job to block that pass. Rocha just stymieing the forward progress of Houston Christian for that particular moment. He'll try the far side instead. Here's Cooper. Cooper with a good cross. Coming in to make that grab is Miles Rom. Spartan goalkeeper. Possesses with two hands. And we've played about 14 minutes of this second half. Will the dam break, and which way will it go? Really think both teams have tightened up, especially defensively, uh, since that really crazy middle of the first half. Keeper comes out to clear that. Relying on his team to keep possession for a couple seconds. A little bit of contact, no whistle. Goes out, should be a Mustang throw in. I don't believe that pass was tipped, so it should be a goal kick. Some kind of stoppage here. Cooper Nichols trotting to the sideline. I think he's just being told he has to remove a piece of jewelry or something. I don't think he's coming out of the game. So we're all waiting for Mr. Nichols to get his, uh, his uniform in, uh, in compliance. That almost took so long that... Uh, one of his teammates said, "You know, just just go have a have a seat, and I'll I'll uh, I'll take your spot for a minute." He wasn't having any of th any of that. Suddenly, the, the offending bit of neckwear is gone, and we're back ready to go again. Good touch passing. Tried to swing in across. All he finds is the side of the net. Goal kick for the Spartans. Big thanks to my QA, Rosie Bega, back at Mission Control, making sure we're looking and sounding good. The QA role is so important to what we do here at Vipe Live. I was in that seat last weekend. It can be hectic at times. We do want to give a big tip of the cap to her. And, of course, to uh, Suna Venkat, product manager at Vipe Live, helping me get on the air here this evening for tonight's doubleheader. And also taking care of so many logistics, making sure that 
and St. Stephen Stocker tomorrow will look and sound good. Different crew tomorrow afternoon. Expect the same quality. And as it looked like Arnold might have just slipped. If there was contact, he sold it very well. And he did win himself a free kick. Change for the Mustangs. Daniel Bay heads to the sideline. So they'll bring on a, another, uh, this is a defender or midfield player, but it's number nine, Derek Boyd. As the Mustangs now realizing, hey, you know, we only, we only had one guy back. We should maybe have you know, two or three. No wall defensively to speak of. And the shot driven low, deflected nicely, right back to H uh, Houston Christian, and that attempt knocked away, and here comes a chance to run at defenders. Spartans with a chance. Pass is deflected. And nothing happens for the Spartans on that breakaway chance. They still have possession. Bob it in towards the box. Nice run for the Mustangs. A lot of contact. Keep it going. And it fizzles out. They rebuild it. In towards goal. Miles Rom falls on it. No problem for the St. Stephen's keeper. And there's an injured player by the looks of things. Halfway through this first half, looks like the Spartans will need to make a move here. Carson Thu was seated on the grass for a moment there. So he'll go get worked on, and Spartans will presumably bring somebody on for him. Don't have a ton of other bodies who look like they're warmed up and ready to go. Trotting on goes Carlos Schober. It's such a chilly evening. You're seeing these injuries, or at least we hope that they're just cramps. They're starting to pick up. Oh, Lee almost won that ball and got himself a golden opportunity. Instead, it goes out. It will be a Spartan throw in. The edge of the box of Houston Christian. See if they can turn this into something more. It'll be Ben Hale to throw it in. Right into the box it goes. Shot. A field goal attempt is good as it splits the uprights. It's the wrong sport. And it's a goal kick for Houston Christian. Sixty second minute now underway. It's been almost forty minutes of game time since we've had a goal. Like I said, the goals coming in in a bunch and alternating with Houston Christian having never trailed in this game. Good ball. This is Lee waiting for support. Cross gets deflected out and it's a corner kick for St. Stevens. Spartans have scored off a set piece already today. And who will take this? I believe it's Schober who will
put it into the box for the Spartans. Here we go. Bouncing around. Still not clear. Just trying to get it past the real wall of blue jerseys. Finally, the wall wins out. Spartan throw in, though. All Cooper Nichols could do to just knock that out of play. Throw in for Houston Christian as they've moved the ball up the field quickly. And now the clearance by St. Stephens. Long ball known at the end of that. Straight to the keeper who whips it back out. More than three quarters of this game have come and gone. It's starting to feel like the next goal might win this. Who would have guessed that you know, we saw that, that stretch, that sequence, that back and forth, that that would have been essentially it. I felt like that could have gone on for a few more minutes, and I wouldn't have complained about it. We have an injured Spartan down, Fernando Arroyo, a little slow to get up, favoring his left leg by the looks of things. Well, the ways in which this is looking like the girls' game from earlier tonight, I mean, it shouldn't be lost on you. 2-2 two -two at halftime. A, a decent stretch of the second half in which there was no scoring. And then what you'd hope for if you're St. Stephen's is, is two goals to wrap it up to you know, make the finish comfortable. That's the part that, uh, that we're still waiting for. In towards the box, coming off his line. Nice job by Rom. To snuff out that potential danger. About 15 minutes to go, maybe a little less. Although with the number of stoppages we've had for you know, injury timeouts, we'll see. What If there's any sport where you want the clock to go out in the stadium, it's soccer's probably the one where it's most okay. Chance here in the box. Someone needs to decide to shoot that, or they just recycle it for another chance. Across. Knocked away. And finally picked up by the keeper. Aiden Cannon there coming to the rescue. After that, it looked like it had bounced off the crossbar for a moment. So a sigh of relief from the Mustang sideline as the score remains deadlocked at two. Nice reading of that pass by the Spartans. And they can't hook up on a pass to try to move the ball up the field for themselves. This is trouble. St. Stephens handles it nicely. Mustangs keep it in. Neither team can string a couple passes together in the midfield. Spartans pressuring. 
Houston Christian has to play it back. Oh, Mustangs with a big 50-50 ball. Tripped up, whistle, and a foul against St. Stephen's. Late challenge there. Not expecting to see a card come out. Ryan Arnold helped back up to his feet, and he'll take, presumably take this free kick. Nope. He'll hustle down into the box and see if he can be on the end of it. This will be Derek Boyd taking the free kick. And with the, a little more than 10 minutes left, this could be decisive. Set pieces have been so important in this game. It's in the box, and it's behind the net. Goal kick. Nice back heel to keep that in for the Mustangs. Trying to find their man. It's Yillander. Cross just at a really difficult angle. And Miles Rom has it covered. With about 10 minutes to play now, it is really starting to feel like the next goal probably wins this. Nice turning to the rep now. There was a late challenge there. We'll not see a booking as Arroyo did come in a little bit late, but was going for the ball. And it will be a Spartan throw in. I think the Mustangs seem to think that, hey, you know, there was a foul there. We should we should be getting the ball, but that's not going to be the case here. Change for St. Stephen's. Off goes Eddie Kim. And on comes Fernando Orozco Escamilla. Tangled up. Long ball. Sprint for it. Andy Lee. Lee. Couldn't get that last touch. Important piece of defending there from Houston Christian. Keeping this level. Lito Guerrero among the blue shirts involved in that defensive sequence. throw in. Shot. Not enough on it. Cannon. That's an easy bit of work for him. Both goalkeepers busy in the second half. They've kept it scoreless since the break. Really since the midway point of that first half. Spartans just have to clear their line, send it out of play. That goes out. Corner given. Let's go! Mustangs now sensing an opportunity. What will they dial up off a set piece? Ryan Arnold stands at the corner, ready to put it in. Let's 
headed initially by St. Stephen's is loose in front. And that swing by Houston Christian sends it wide to the left. Time becoming a factor in this deadlock. 2-2, two, two, still our score with about seven minutes to play. Might see a little bit more added on for the injuries we've seen since uh, the second half started. And without the clock in the stadium, we don't know exactly what the refs are thinking. There, the uh, their their time is the only one that matters. Nice tackle. Johnny Francis up the right flank. Too heavy with the touch. Out of play. That's out, who touched it last? This is another corner. With a little more than five minutes to go. Mustang sending bodies forward. Nine white shirts in the box defensively for the Spartans. Just missed goal. Kept in, though. Another cross. Cleared away, and another corner, this time from the near side. Pep in the step of these Mustang players. They sense that they are on the front foot. Can they get the goal? Can they come away with the win? Is this one destined to finish at 2-2? Again, just one Spartan defender not in the box. Here's the cross. Keeper got his hand to it. And it's another corner. Ryan Arnold. Calls out the set piece. Here it comes. Oh, towards the back post. Too strong. Sailing over everything, but kept in by Houston Christian. No. Couldn't keep it in. Now St. Stephens, I think, looks to slow down the tempo a little bit. Relieve a little bit of pressure. Thrown in. Couldn't really move it upfield. Mustang throw in. Boy, with the urgency Houston Christian's playing, if you'd think they were down and trying to equalize, they're level and trying to go ahead. The box. Bodies banging around. Spartans get it out. Physical battle for the ball. That was last touched by the Mustangs. Spartans get the throw. With about three minutes left, this is starting to get hectic down there. You get into this crunch time kind of situation, I think the impulse for players is to press and try to do a lot with it, but I think what a coach would try to tell you is, you know, slow it down and make the possession that we do have count 
as opposed to just you know playing frantically and with you know more pace than you really need. Great throw in from Houston Christian. They're just trying to keep some possession right now. Tipped out by St. Stephen's. Still Mustang ball with about two minutes to go. Ooh, big collision. Free kick for Houston Christian right on the edge of the box. And the refs got to get, get involved here and make sure that everyone's where they need to be. That's Rocha just kind of trying to stand on top of the ball. Made the ref move him. And this will be a mighty wall that the Mustangs have to try to kick it around. It's Ryan Arnold, set-piece specialist. Lobbed in, headed away. Arnold had it for a second. Took a big bounce off a Spartan player and will be thrown in by Houston Christian again. Johnny Francis, who'd been holding his arm, I think he got kicked there. Throws this into the box. Bounces into a tough spot for Houston Christian to do anything with. Spartans just trying to get it out, and they can. Maybe a counter? Not to be. Mustang's able to keep it in. Up the sideline. Cleared away. Bit of defense from Cooper Nichols. Thrown back in. Not at a numerical advantage with so many white shirts swarming the box defensively. Deflected shot. Still Mustang possession. A lot of contact. There's another whistle. And this should be another Houston Christian free kick. Now you're just talking about who's going to take this. Hmm. Ref moves it back, moves the ball back, but also moves the Mustangs back. Here's number 17, John Egravetba. Excuse me. Egravetba. Puts in the shot, off the post, and then it's kicked in for the Houston Christian goal. Was he on? Yes, he was. Mustang's goal, and now the Spartans are going to try to score very quickly to get that back. How much time is left is the question. Should be just injury time at this point. And the Mustangs have won the ball back. Given away. Spartans got to send everyone forward here. Keeper coming up to get it. Sliding in to grab it is Aiden Cannon. He'll hang on to it for as long as he possibly can. There's the final whistle, and Houston Christian at the buzzer, winning this one and taking the points 3-2 in an absolute thriller. It just seemed like a matter of time as the Mustangs kept kept going forward, kept getting chances, kept getting free kicks in dangerous spots, corner kicks. And then yeah, that last goal really just, you know, they, they put in a good free kick. It was punched onto the crossbar, onto the post by the keeper, and then um, didn't see who exactly tapped it in, but not exactly a highlight real uh, game-winning goal, but they'll take it nonetheless. An absolute thriller of a finish in this one. As Houston Christian comes in, they never trailed in this game. A couple times they had taken a one-goal lead. St. Stephen's was able to pull even within just a few moments uh, until that last goal right at the very end. As the Houston Christian Mustangs come into Austin, 
And uh, in this doubleheader, they've salvaged a split. The girls game going to St. Stephen's by a score of three to two. The boys game, or by a score of four to two in the girls game. Three to two in the boys game the other way for Houston Christian. As we said, both teams in action again tomorrow after such a, uh, well, especially this boys game, but the girls game too really came down right to the very end. Uh, and, uh, and the insurance goal scored by St. Stephen's. But this one, man, especially, you want to talk about playing the full 80 minutes and, and going hard all out. Uh, both teams will need that quick, uh, need to really recover off that quick turnaround as they both play tomorrow. Houston Christian just down the street from here against St. Andrews. And for St. Stephen's, uh, also at home. Let's see if I can pull up the schedule for you really quick. The boys' varsity, just to make sure I have the time for you correct, is against Kincaid tomorrow at 1. That means I believe the girls' game is at uh, 11 a.m. Make sure I get this right for you. Yeah, indeed, 11 a.m. Right here on Vipe Live, you can watch uh, another St. Stephen's soccer doubleheader. But that will wrap things up for us here tonight. Big thanks to Suna Venkat. Merle Bertrand, the entire Vipe Live crew for helping us get on the air tonight. Big thanks to QA Rosie Vega for keeping us on the air tonight. This is Cameron Songer saying thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.